everybody. Today, I am going to take you to the bottom of the well. Go and as stated in the intro, I will be taking you to the bottom of the well today. It's a new game that I've been wanting to play, so I'm going to do that. And I'm taking you all with me. Let's begin. Oh, welcome to the bottom of the well. This game is a visual novel, meaning it's a mainly text-based piece of interactive fiction. A book where you, or I, get to decide for you what happens next. Most of the gameplay consists of picking your choice from a selection of options, which will further the story. Oh my, I'm excited already. Bottom of the Well does have some gameplay aside from multiple choice, though the most important, which is the kind of Alice, our protagonist, you are going to play. For your first playthrough, we recommend you use default Alice, but the customization is there to be used. Even if you complete the game, a different Alice might have a very different experience. If nothing else, you might just find a new way to die! Thank you for playing our game. I haven't played it yet, but you're welcome. Well, it's recommended to play as default Alice, but you know what? Let's get a little crazy with this. I would like to randomly generate my Alice, because I like my Alice's to be random, if you know what I mean. <laughs> A random Alice makes the computer randomly generate an Alice for you. Well, who would have thunk that? Who would have thunk that? With the random stats. Note that if you already click Default Alice, Custom Alice, or Dark Alice, you will need to click Reroll to create a new randomized Alice. Okay. Roll me a random Alice, please. Random Alice was rolled. Oh, so I've got two in survival, two in supplies, two in my career. No fitness, I'm weak as shit. But my social life is blinging. But my dating skills ain't so good. Damn. Well, that's what life gives us. That's what we're gonna take. Alright. Let's get on with this. Uh, dream Diary, September 13th, 2015. Today I had the weirdest dream in my life. I'm waiting for... Hey, dude, I was reading my dream... Di I want to read my dream diary, damn it. Morning, did you catch the anniversary reading last night? No. Well, I tried, but I fell asleep. Listen, about that... Uh, I'm... Okay. So like I said, it was the end of the world. Everything I did that day felt like the real thing. Every smell, every sound, every color, every touch. It's important you know that. I wasn't acting like I would in a dream. I didn't know it was a dream. Okay. Whoa! I didn't read any of that. I went online to find out what was going on. I immediately tried to call chess. I need to think about my options. Well, since I couldn't read any of that, and I don't know what the hell is... You know what? I hit the skip button. That's prob probably what happened. Ah, oh, crap. Let's try to restart this. Okay, let's I'm try this again. I'll skip the skip buttons. Uh, but, uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay. Morning, eh? Morning. Did you catch the anniversary reading last night? No. Well, I tried, but I fell asleep. Listen about that. You fell asleep? 
Oh, come on. Alice in Wonderland is like your favorite. Let me finish. Something happened. I was turn I was tuning in on my radio. You're such a ludite. Ludite? 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 Amazing, I can even catch you online. Shut up. I'm not a ludite. I just like analog things. Anyway, I was tuning into the broadcast and I must have hit the AM switch or something because suddenly the channel changed to something else. What? Aliens? Oh no! Government run number stations? No, it was this weird like white noise at first. It's hard to explain why I was so drawn to it. I could hear snippets of some melody, maybe lyrics, but the signal was weak. So you turned it off and continued looking for the Alice broadcast? So I went out on my balcony and turned the antenna around until the signal came through clear and now sounded more like music with the odd signal in the background. When logic and proportion have fallen sloppy dead and the white knight is talking backwards and the red queen's like, off with her head! What? What the fuck is going on in this game? I, I'm completely lost already. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, so somebody's pirate radio broadcast of Golden Oldies? It felt like there was something else there. Some message that the music was hiding. I know it sounds weird. And then, I fell asleep. What a story. No, hear me out. I dreamed, and I didn't know I was dreaming. Do you understand? It was entirely lucid, but like, like waking up in another world, except I didn't think of it as a, another world. Ah, uh, does that make any sense? You had a super lifelike dream where you didn't know you were dreaming, but you were still lucidly in control. Is that what you're saying to me, woman? Sounds pretty rad to me. I'm sure it would have been, except for the whole end of the world, apocalypse bit of the dream. Okay, now you've got my attention. This is bizarre. So like I said, it was the end of the world. Everything I did that day felt like the real thing. Every smell, every sound, every color, every touch. <sighs> Every touch. It's important you know that. I wasn't acting like I would in a dream. I didn't know it was a dream. Heavy, man. That's some heavy shit you got going on right there, man. Heavy shit. There was no warning, no build up, nothing. Just between one moment and the next, the TV had turned into this emergency alert system. And this voice that sounded like it had been recorded in the 60s told me we were under attack. Were you alone? No. I was with Chess. We were on a date. We were kind of ignoring the movie. Although, shit. I think it was the new Star Wars. The Force Awakens. Wait, who is this chess guy you're talking about here? My boyfriend. I mean, I don't have a boyfriend, but in the dream I did. He a hunk like me? Dot, dot, dot. I am not amused. I'll take that as a yes. What happened then? Like I said, the TV suddenly turned to the emergency alert system. Jacked the volume all the way up to... All the way up to 11. I didn't even know they could do that. The broadcast told us we were under attack. 
right now and that we need to get to shelter. And we had less than 30 minutes before the bombs hit. Jesus. Sounds scary. At first, I didn't want to believe it. I switched the channel, but they were all the same. And then the sign starts, the name starts, the song starts. I don't know. All the signs you can think of siren signs out of one time. I don't know. And I knew things were serious. So what'd you do? Well, Chess was right there, and he... What up? Tell me more about this sudden new boyfriend of yours. I thought you weren't in the dating scene. Actually, I've been thinking about putting myself out there. Like maybe some online dating or something. Although, I'm kind of afraid to check OkCupid okay right now. What if there's a guy there named Chess? Good icebreaker. Hi, I'm Alice. I dreamed about you last night. You were my end of the world, buddy. Ah. Funny. <laughs> Aren't I just... You were saying about chess. What kind of name is that anyways? I wasn't, really. I mean, yeah, he was pretty hot, I guess, and smart and into me. What more could you ask for? I can sense you blushing all the way over here, lady. Maybe I should check my OK Cupid profile, actually. So what did your boyfriend think? That's the thing. The moment they made the announcement, he got his face like panic. He tried calling the number, but the network was clogged. And then he jumped on my laptop for a moment to type up an email before basically just rushing towards the door. He said he had somewhere he needed to be, like every other man in my life. What? Without you? Well, I told him to wait and explain. He looked like he wanted to jump out of his skin, but he told me he had to go look for his sister. That makes sense, I guess. Well, you... What, what'd you do? I asked him where she lives. And? In the burrows, outside town. That's pretty far, isn't it? It is, which is why he was in such a hurry. I, I wanted to ask him if he needed help, but somehow it felt like I didn't. I mean, it felt like I would be imposing. You're weird, Al. Weird Al. He it's Weird Al. Yankovic. So you just let him go? Yeah. Well, just before he left, I made him tell me his address. Is it okay if I come check out on you later? Is it okay if I come... Is, is it okay if I come check on you after it all? I asked. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. And then you kissed and hugged and that was that? Pretty much. After he left, I... I don't know. Had I made a mistake? Well, I knew that Chess wasn't going to wait for me. If I wanted to go with him, I had to go right away. Just grab my stuff and go. Making quick decisions in the spur of the moment doesn't sound like you. So what'd you do? Ah, uh, here's our first option. I went online to find out what was going on. I knew the thing about my options. I went with Chess to help him out with his sister. Uh, what would I do? I would go with Chess to help him with his sister. So I decided to go with Chess. I mean, how couldn't I? He clearly needed help. Altruistic. How long had you been dating? Cynic. Long enough to know my feelings were real. I mean, they felt real in the dream. Where did the sister live again? In a borough, practically the suburbs, so pretty far. Chess said he usually takes the subway or the bus. 
Chess actually lived just down the street and we always had a customary place to meet. We didn't even need to confirm the place anymore, but it didn't seem very likely we would be able to catch a bus or the subway. So how were you planning on getting to the sister in less than 30 minutes? Oh! SPOILER ALERTS! The bombs didn't start dropping on us within 30 minutes. It took longer than that. They did start though. That's lucky. Yeah, well, it didn't mean we weren't in a hurry. But you didn't leave empty handed though, right? Oh right, yes. I grabbed the biggest bag I had. My nut sack. My shoulder bag that I usually just used to carry my laptop in when I needed to. Not my nut sack. My shoulder bag. Uh, so I have to pick what I want to take. How many things can I take in? Uh, let's take a, we got a first aid kit, radio, spare clothes, sleeping bag, and, uh, let's take the first aid kit, uh, take a radio, I can only take one thing? What the hell? Okay, well, I'll take the first aid kit then. Go on, Burrow, Sister, Bombs, and Coming, how did you plan to get there in the chaos? The chaos! Yes! The chaos! The streets were nuts! Everything and everyone was going crazy! Crashes everywhere, but no one was responding. The street was completely gridlocked. I'm taking my every 15 minutes out. I'm talking maybe 15 minutes after the first announcement's here. All it takes is a few cars in the wrong place. But you live pretty centrally, right? It had to be better further out. Did Chase have a car? No! But if we wanted a car, there were tons around. People just left them. Keys in the ignition and ran. Holy shit! It really must have been bad long. It was. I was so scared. So, still a car or walk? We discussed walking. It was like 14 miles or something. It'd probably take at least four or five hours on a good day. And this wasn't a good day. Maybe a good start though. Things might clear up outside the downtown area and you might be able to steal a car there. Appropriate a car. Stealing sounds so criminal. <laughs> Whatever you say, lady. Any other options except stealing? Or I mean, Appropriating a car and hoofing it? Something in between. I know a guy with a motorcycle. He really loves that motorcycle, but I wonder if maybe he'd be willing to borrow it. I mean, for fuck's sake. We were going to go rescue a disabled woman. You know him well? Reasonably. I didn't know you knew how to drive a motorcycle. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. I'm a woman of many talents. So what did you do? Uh, we decided to try appropriating a car. We decided to walk out of the worst chaos. We decided to try with my acquaintance with the motorcycle. Fuck it, let's try stealing a car. Uh huh. By your description, this seems like kind of a bad idea. Well, finding a vehicle was easy, but they all had been abandoned for a good reason. They weren't going anywhere. I had to find one I could feasibly get out of there with. An abandoned one. An abandoned one you could feasibly get out of there with. Right. So how did that go? And what did Chess have to say about this? He was game. Anything to his sister faster. But he feared we'd make better time if we split up. I went for the car. He went to scout out a route. A route, a route, a route, a route, a route, a route. Sounds like a plan. I thought big and strong would be the best. Still, it took a moment of scouting to find the best candidate. A Hummer. A Hummer. A Hummer. A Hummer. Parked by the side of the road. Lights on and the door open. Perfect. Somebody abandoned their Hummer? Um, not exactly. 
I jumped in the first thing I noticed there were no keys of course there was no keys because the driver still had them he had just been on the other side of the car he came around the corner and saw me sitting there he had a minor uh, uh, he had a minor a pop a poplectic he had a minor a poplectic fit and ran at me keys in hand he had a minor apoplectic fit and ran at me. Keys in hand. God damn it, Alice. I knew you weren't car thief material. Don't underestimate me. I went into fight or flight mode and for some reason fight went over. As he came at me, cursing me to get out, I grabbed the door to pull it shut. He saw me go for it and ran forward. I slammed the door right on his Keep carrying hand. Ow. Alice. Jesus Christ. And then I grabbed the key to the floor where he was jumping around holding his possibly broken bones. Jammed it into the ignition and sped off. I reiterate. Jesus Christ, Alice. Believe me, I thought the same thing. Also, the guy chased after me. I mean, I had just stolen his car. So I had to lose him first, which involved a a lot of... (laughs) So I had to lose him first, which involved a lot of looping around the same narrow area since downtown was gridlocked. I finally got away by ramming through two parked cars. A truly accomplished car thief you are, Alice. I lost some time, but I had a car. Unfortunately, traffic wasn't going anywhere. And Chess? He was waiting for me a bit further up. He jumped in, giving me the lowdown on the situation up ahead. He seemed pretty surprised, actually, that I had managed to get a car. Surprised and elated. He, he, he. So how exactly did you and your Hummer get through the downtown gridlock? With ruthlessness! I was driving a very strong big car with the perfect profile for pushing other cars the hell out of the way! Whoa! Dream you is a bit of an asshole! And with that, I just abandoned the car I'd stolen. But it didn't come without a cost, of course. I managed to crash my way out of downtown. But by the time traffic eased up, the car was totaled. I had to get out and start walking. So the car was done for. Wasn't it about time for you to start looking for shelter anyway? Right, yeah. I left the car by the side of the road with some regret. I had gotten out of the immediate downtown area, but didn't feel like it was enough. Alright, we got some more options here. Yes, I kept an eye out for shelter. No, that would waste time. I tend to get as far as possible, even on f- if on foot. We've got to get there. We can't waste. We we can't waste any more time. We we've, we've got to get there. We all have time to look for shelter. Just single-mindedness was what led me. I was pretty sure there was a monumental mistake, and that we'd get caught outside and killed for sure. But. I couldn't just leave him, so we kept walking. So how did that work out for you? You think it was easy? People had driven out of the sidewalks and left their cars. Everything was a mess. I tried going back down the main highway, but it proved pointless and I had to backtrack. I didn't say it was easy. Did you consider running? You know, just... Run a little bit. Run instead of walking your slow ass around everywhere. I started jogging. Almost immediately. Did I mention I was like crazy buff in this dream? It was pretty rad. Anyway, with the adrenaline, I felt like I could keep it up indefinitely. Chess kept up. He was driven by worry and stress. It wasn't going to let some. It wasn't going to let something like physical exhaustion stop him. And. And. Well, 
Once I got away from the downtown area, things were much smoother. I ran as fast as I could. As far as I could. No bombs. Still no bombs. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my luck. But I knew I was pushing it now. What did you do? We were getting closer, so we kept walking. You? Actually made it that far? How long was it until the bombs actually hit? I'm not entirely sure, but something like two hours. I think they hit everywhere else before they hit us. I'm not really sure why. Missile shield? Do we have one of those? Anyway, I knew that us getting this far was a miracle. Whatever hope we might have of finding a better shelter, then Chess's sister's house was nil. I told him that, and he agreed. All they wanted to do was to get there. So, was she there? Come on, this is exciting! Went out to the door, and Chess started banging on it. After a few minutes, it opened on the chain, and I could just barely see a mop of pale hair and scared little eyes. He told her it was him, and she immediately opened the door and jumped in his arms. Jumped? So not a physical disability? It was. But she wasn't wheelchair bound constantly. There was however a wheelchair in the entry hall. Anyway, we didn't really have time for nice, nice, nice ties. I think it's supposed to say niceties. Niceness, not, I don't know. Anyway, we didn't have time to be nice and all that bullshit. The bombs were coming! Right, right. Miss Pragmatic. So, battle plan? I knew the most important thing was getting shelter away from windows and walls. The bathroom in the center of the house seemed the safest. No basement? No basement! What about, like, food and things? I didn't think about it, honestly. I mean, it was already where it was supposed to be, so what was the point of moving it from the cupboards? So, the bombs? They actually hit then? In your dream? The first thing that happened was the windows blew in. I just closed my eyes and pulled up my knees and made myself as small as possible. Just held his sister. The bombing continued for I don't know how long. But aside from the windows and the walls. Until the sweat dripped down my bowels. We seemed to be pretty okay. Imagine what it must have. <clears throat> Imagine what it must have been like downtown. I didn't want to think about that. It was like downtown. It was scary enough out there. A few cars drove past and I heard sirens. At one point I ventured out to glance out the window. Once the bombs had stopped hitting. And I saw city center in flames. But at least you got out. How long did you wait in the house? How long did we wait in the house? Um, let's see here. We waited for as long as the supplies lasted 24 hours. I wasn't planning on ever fucking leaving. I wasn't planning on fucking leaving. Really? You felt that comfortable there? I was tired. I didn't want to fight anymore. Sure, a lot of the food that I was covered in dust and sure. It was exactly the most sheltered place in the world, but I was tired. Okay, so what happened then? I cleaned up as best as I could, taped up the windows, dumped all the refuse outside, made food out what I could. There was an ashen rain, then a black sludge rain, then beautiful weather. People streamed by outside, 
but I ignore them. There's actually not much else to say. Huh? Well, <clears throat> I've been feeling it for a long time already, but then it, it just came to an end. I couldn't move anymore. I was too weak. I had to rest, but I couldn't even keep food down. In the end, I couldn't even stay conscious or talk. Radiation poisoning? Yes. Of the acute bad kind. I suppose it's lucky I can't really say much more of my last time on Earth. I was too delirious. Too out of it. To really notice or realize anything more. I came in and out of it, but mostly I remember incredible pain whenever I was conscious. I remember chest being there, comforting me, giving me water when I asked for it. But in the end, his face disappeared in the blur as well. And, and thus concluded my dream. Well, that was interesting. What do you think? I think it felt incomplete. Like there was something missing. That wasn't the way it was supposed to end, you know? Dreams are supposed to end in certain ways. This one was, I think. It felt like it was trying to tell me something, but I wasn't listening closely enough. Maybe you can try again next night? See if you hear the same recording? Speaking of, what frequency was this on? That's, um, that's the weird part. When I tried to see, I realized I had hit the right channel and that it was in fact reading Alice in Wonderland. And this isn't exactly some obscure number station frequency on the AM bands. Well, maybe you'll dream it next night again anyway. That's the good thing with dreams. You can always dream them again. And maybe do something different the second time around. Okay. Well. I guess that was the game. Uh, not at all what I was expecting. I was hoping there'd be some more choices and a little more things going on. Didn't realize it was just going to be a girl talking about her dream. But, eh. It was what it was. It was free, so I can't really complain too much. Anywho, I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Like and subscribe. And if there's other games you'd like to see me play, just leave a little comment down below. And until next time, I will see you in the bottom of the well.